My fans, this question will be like saying a waiting hard, but by the time I go so and finish, you're going to see it very soon. What is it supposed to do for this particular question? They say a chemical reaction with entropy change. I don't get time to waste. May I begin to bring out the parameter? They say entropy change. S now we can represent entropy change in entropy. Name this one of 20. They don't even give us the value. Say now 20 joule per Kelvin. We don't we don't strike that one. And free energy change. Free energy, this guy, I don't hear of Gibbs free energy. Uh, so free energy change, see the symbol with the carry represent them. Then give us as five five zero zero two. Mm. Occurred at negative twenty-three degree Celsius or centigrade. Now be the temperature, but you know say as it be twenty-three and a day for degree Celsius. You will convert them to Kelvin scale, and to achieve that one, you can see the temperature now will be equal to 273. If you say this one plus 273, or 273 plus this negative 23 degrees, anything where this one give me, now me the value for the temperature. Why they bring out this parameter, they do all this, so that if I put the formula, I just pack everything, put inside the formula. Then we get our answer. I fancy the the film. The film will be why do you say the nod now? If I see the film, you will answer my yeah. You the film. I am the definition. So now T now finally will be plus times minus. So I get two seven three plus times minus now minus. Some of them don't know this sign. Say plus times plus now plus plus times minus now minus. They write them down now so they never make mistake again. Uh, minus times plus now minus uh, minus times minus now plus uh -huh. just know this one so now yeah i'll get plus times minus again this minus 23 degrees therefore t now will be equal to 273 minus 23 come out 23 inside 70 now 50 now uh -huh. so it will be 250 in kelvin scale you get you get what I do right now. I only convert them from from degree Celsius to Kelvin. <laughs> so we don't finish with temperature. They can say calculate the enthalpy change. Enthalpy change if they use delta H. Now be the symbol we use to represent enthalpy H. So enthalpy change, change in enthalpy. So we take the formula we connect this one. By the time I see this guy, see this one, see this one, see temperature, I will remember this formula. Don't forget that more. Now make a report on now. The formula is very simple. I'll say this guy first, the Gibbs free energy equal to this enthalpy change minus this temperature multiplied by this one. Temperature multiplied by the change in entropy. It's just I fix the formula. I just carry everything with there. I carry fix the formula. Now it will be easy for for me to pack everything to one side. Now this guy define. Now you now you go make the solve your formula if you want. If you pack everything, put inside. Finally, make this guy the solve your formula. If you still first make him the solve your formula before you come high one time. Any high one time it will work. If you say make this guy cross come this side, now this guy did. Let me see. Come they get this guy. Wait a minute. Equal to you know say so this guy and I don't come with this guy here. Yeah. You can't get this guy plus you know say so if you cross with this negative sign now plus you can't be you understand this one if you don't understand now from this one just carry the value of this guy five thousand five hundred put here the low carry this guy put here leave this one as the day but when I wait till they find temperature what you get now this guy times the s i mean this guy so you multiply this one by this one this one nine be this one so if you carry this one cross come with this guy subtract them you don't get the final answer if you still do one like this you will still get get the same answer so the h equal to this guy now waiting five five zero zero plus t now 250 250 times ds now 20 
So this guy now will be equal to. Wait a minute. If you multiply 250 by 20 and add to this one, which you will get finally? Oh yeah, now do fast, fast. 250, see I'm now 250 times zero, uh, 20, I mean, 20. Zero times zero times zero times zero, zero and a zero, zero, zero. Two times zero, zero. Two times five, 10. So you write zero, carry one. Two times two, four plus one, five. So it will give you 5,000. Abby? If you don't do another thing, no, check and well. So <laughs> check and well. Zero times zero, zero, zero times zero, five, zero, zero times zero, zero, two times zero, zero, two times five, ten. You can write zero, carry one, two times two, four, plus one, five. So now you say if you add everything together, drop this one, drop this one, drop this one. We're gonna five K now. <laughs> so five five zero zero plus five thousand. Let's see the answer. If they add, though, don't forget. Therefore, the age will be equal to. If you get 5,000 plus 5,500, if you add, now 0, 0, 5, 5 plus 5, 10. I'm the answer. Happy?